live at a sold-out Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. Tonight, Virginia Tech and Clemson will compete for the ACC championship. We welcome you to the 2011 Dr. Pepper ACC championship on ESPN. And the winner tonight will advance to the 2012 Discover Orange Bowl. This a rematch on October 1st. Clemson stormed into Blacksburg and they dominated the Hokies, forcing fumbles. Their big tight end, Dwayne Allen, had a huge night. 32 yard scoring pass, and then later it was a stifling defense. And for the first time in a long time, the Hokies were held without a touchdown as Michael Bellamy put a little icing on the cake. And you can see the total domination. But things have turned completely around, ladies and gentlemen. And Virginia Tech is red hot. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> with my colleague, Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brett Musburger. Thanks so much for being with us here tonight. One news update. Michael Bellamy, that youngster you saw going into the end zone, suspended by Dabo Sweeney, the head coach. He has been sent home. Coach said he was not focused. But I will tell you who is focused for Virginia Tech. Their quarterback, Logan Thomas, has come on like gangbusters. He sure has. I, I think really the difference in this matchup is Logan Thomas and the confidence that he's playing with right now compared to when they played the first matchup. You know, he only threw for about 127 yards, and I think it's his decision making. You can see he's more assertive when he's running the football. He's throwing the football now with more accuracy. He's accounted for 23 touchdowns, only two turnovers since that matchup with Clemson. And this is a big thing tonight to watch. Watch. When the receivers aren't open, his ability to create, and especially against a Clemson defense that has been able to at times be taken advantage of. You remember last week, Connor Shaw found a lot of uh, real estate when he tucked the ball and took off and ran. So I think that's something that Logan Thomas at 6'6", 255, if things aren't there, he's going to try to do the same thing. Taj Boyd on the other side. Well, Taj Boyd got off to such a great start. The first eight games, he was as hot as any quarterback in the country. This is earlier this year against Virginia Tech. The play that you talked about falling off of his back foot but putting the ball in a position where Dwayne Allen can make a play since then the last four games it's not been the same here you think he bounces to the outside where there's room to run instead he runs into his own man doesn't run with authority and get it into the end zone this is really this offense in the last couple weeks in a nutshell starting to feel pressure up front forces a ball into coverage makes a bad decision that's what Clemson cannot avoid tonight they cannot turn the football over so Sweeney and on the other side Virginia Tech both schools travel so well sellout crowd on hand Charlotte will be rocking tonight The Hokies hoping to avenge their only loss of the season. Trying to battle their way down to Miami and the Discover Orange Bowl under Frank Beamer. Davo Sweeney and the Tigers determined to stop the bleeding. Scene is set in Charlotte. The Dr. Pepper ACG Championship is next. The 2011 Dr. Pepper ACC Championship game brought to you by Bud Light. It's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. The new Capital One cash card for people who want 50% more cash. And Old Spice. Smell better than yourself. And we welcome you to Jimmy V Week for Cancer Research on ESPN as we continue our commitment to the V Foundation and Jim Balvano's dream to defeat cancer. 
Well, what a great location this is for an ACC championship. And as far as these two schools are concerned, and both travel so very well here to Charlotte, Blacksburg, the home of Virginia Tech, 174 miles away, and Clemson, 132. And believe me, the fans have poured in. Heather Cox, the third member of our team, is down below with Virginia Tech coach Frank Beamer. Let's go there. Brent, thanks so much. Coach, your only loss of the season to this Clemson team. What did you learn in that loss that can help you get the W tonight? Well, we learned that they're a talented football team, well-coached football team. And... Uh, Learn you can't turn the football over and you got to kick the ball well because it's a game of field position. We got two good football teams. Field position is awfully important and uh, we didn't punt the ball very well in our first ball game. Since then, you're 7 0. How important has Logan Thomas's development been to your success? Well, he's been real important. He's uh, improved each and every week, gotten better, been uh, accurate, has taken care of the uh, football, and uh, he's been a vital part of our operation. Continued success. Thanks, coach. On the other sideline, 42-year-old Davo Sweeney, a native of Birmingham, Alabama, third season as head man of Clemson. Now, Frank Beamer won the coin toss, and the Hokies have deferred here. And it is a gorgeous night. Make it a little bit chilly, but no moisture in the forecast. And the Tigers will get the ball first here. And that means it's Sammy Watkins, who they say is close to 100% of a back deep with Jerron Brown. They like to get the ball early and often. Justin Meyer with the ball on the tee here for the Hokies. Perhaps a record setting crowd for an ACC championship on hand here tonight. Journey begins. Watkins stepped out. He's got to come all the way now. 15 out to the 22. And we will see Taj Boyd. And Herbie told you in the first eight games, he was magnificent. 24 touchdowns and three interceptions. Then Herbie, last four games, four TDs and seven picks. Yeah, I think this entire offense has been struggling in recent weeks, and I think it's affected Taj Boyd's confidence. I think tonight they're going to try to get him reestablish ability to reestablish his confidence, some quick throws, try to get this offense back in sync when it was executing in a way that very few offenses in the country were earlier in the year. Taj is a redshirt sophomore quarterback out of Hampton, Virginia. And they'll give it to Ellington. Andre Ellington, he tries to get that left edge. And very close to a first down. Hosley is there defensively. And uh, Herbie, let's take a look at tonight's impact players. Brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Well, when these guys are clicking, they're as good as anybody. It starts with Taj Boyd and his decision-making tonight. Andre Ellington, you can see how quickly he can accelerate upfield. Dwayne Allen, maybe one of the more electrifying tight ends in the country. Keep an eye on big number 83. And Sammy Watkins, the two are kind of tied together. When the tight end plays well, it opens it up for Watkins. So they hand it back off to Ellington. And he pounds for the first down before linebacker Jack Tyler brings him down. Here are your offensive linemen and that fella in the middle, Dalton Freeman, made the all ACC first team as the center. Keep an eye on the left tackle, Philip Price, who's coming back from a sprained knee. They tried to play him early last week. He wasn't a very effective. They took him out. They're hoping he's able to go tonight. Power game working right away. Now Boyd's first pass, and they'll work it short underneath, and that's Brandon Ford. So Brandon Ford, one of the tight ends, a junior from Wando, South Carolina. And right away, you're seeing tempo, 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 something that's very important for Clemson. You see Taj Boyd checking himself out of the game as part of the Wildcat package here, and Clemson getting their, their plays together. But Chad Morris, the offensive coordinator, loves the tempo to try to get the defense on their Heels. Ellington will take the snap on the Clemson Wildcat. 
and he'll keep it himself, and he is stuffed. The Hokies were not fooled on that, and that is Hosley, who is an outstanding defensive back coming up to make the stop. Number 20, Herbie, if you go back in the stats with him, he once picked Russell Wilson, who was then playing quarterback for North Carolina State, three times in a single game. <laughs> you know, he had nine interceptions last year. He's a first-team All-American. This year, he's come up with three. One of the top cover corners in the ACC, maybe even in the entire country. Now, Taj Boyd is left with a third and four after that Wildcat play. Didn't gain much. That's Allen, the tight end, going through the formation. Taj looks for that screen over there. Going to take off himself and did not get it. Exum, the safety, comes up, and they are a yard short. But Taj Boyd, one thing that he's really trying to improve on is once his primary receiver is not there, he quickly comes off of it and tries to create. That time, as you said, Brent, he was trying to set up the quick throw, the screen off to the left. But the Hokies defense completely dialed in, reading their tendencies here early, and they were there to take it away and forcing Taj Boyd to have to try to run for it. Well, there's Dawson Zimmerman. And guess who awaits it? Hosley. Jaron Hosley, the junior from Delray Beach, Florida. Gonna let this one roll, and it takes a hokey bounce before it is downed at the 23-yard line. And so Logan Thomas, and when we say big, we mean it, folks. We'll meet the six-foot-six-inch quarterback when we come back.